Army Superstars. Yeah. I want I want to hail the almighty ultimate winner. Oh, purr. Purr. And that's on purr. Oh, I know. Why are you saying here? Hear me for what, please? Hear me specifically. For what? Why are you hearing me? Your ingenious, your winning talents, your. No winning talents. Call the brew name. Like, thank you so much for being the, like, first what? Thank you so much for being the first Gen Z winner. The first winner of my heart and of the show and of. Your very show. You don't get this. Show Z West. What up, y'all? What's good? Show What's popping? Yeah, we're in this place, man. We're just gonna think everything's peace, man. Pray. You're a little bit of a little Okay, guys, that was a fun moment with EK, Elepai, and Omashola. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. You've been watching, but you've not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Please like and subscribe. Thank you. So, guys, Biggie has been exposed and it was T Badge that made us see things differently. What am I even talking about? I'm making reference to the finale. What happened on that day? If you take your mind back to the finale when Messi got when Messi got on stage and she was crying, Ebuka asked her what was the tears, what what was the tears all about? Why was she crying? She said that um she just could not hold it back after seeing how the crowd was screaming her name, shouting her name and all that, chanting her name. But that wasn't what we saw as viewers. We only heard the crowd. I heard the crowd shouting and screaming in Lebagi's name. But guys, that's really not the case. I'm just going to let you guys watch this video. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure you've seen for yourself. I got that video from from Tolani Badge because she is a vlogger. She has a YouTube channel, so she the latest video she posted, yeah. And if you also take your mind back to um, that eviction show, that particular day, while the housemates were in the house waiting to be evicted, when the screen came on, came on, they could hear people shouting "Eleba!" It seemed as though it was just "Eleba" alone. It's, it's, it seemed as though everyone just wanted. It was like only Eleba's fans were in the audience, but that's not the case. So what they did, they muted the mic of other people that were chanting mercy and cc and they left only the labor people's own volume to be high and that was exactly what happened because this video just what is from t badge the same the, the same place the same venue the same arena the same crowd but has she did not mute the, ma the mic so she could get everyone shouting a lot of people were screaming Messi's name so I'm, I, I'm sorry because I was like um, oh I didn't hear them call Messi's name so why was she crying yes so this is to say that Messi did not lie Messi heard them call her name but I think it's really unfair for the production to make her look stupid because they actually did make her look stupid this is not also the, the first time production is doing this it's not the first time production is doing this there's this particular tweet that that i saw and this person was saying that um cc had a serious injury in the house i did hear cc talk about it but i did not see the stuff myself cc made mention of her injury but we didn't get to see it so this person saying that cc had this very very serious injury but what did production do they did not show us they did not show us i'm going to read it bb niger is a heavily edited show glass fell and shattered on cc while she was in the bathroom one day it was an incident that sent the whole house into a panic mode the whole house it left a massive wound on her lap but they never showed us 
that was a very serious incident that happened like i said i can remember hearing sissy mention the injury but we never saw it and it was like i had to have mentioned it in passing it wasn't something that was serious that we we the viewers um wanted to know more it, it just they made it seem as though it was just one little stuff i'm not expecting them to show us blood i'm not expecting them to show us blood all this is i'm saying is just sh- it's just to show you guys that we don't see what it shows maybe 40 percent of what's happening in the house because a lot of the housemates they come out and they talk about oh that's not my story or why they painting me in this particular way i understand this is a reality tv show they have the narrative they have to promote the narrative that, that makes them the most money but guys it's if you look at it it's really unfair on the housemates even on that tea badge video she and kim opera they were talking about how they bonded very well in the house so well in the house but we didn't get to see it the the production did not show us that it doesn't make sense now i'm, I'm not saying they must show us everything but to us I, we didn't think they had a relationship that much but to them they said they spent a lot of time together we did not see that part we didn't see that part so guys like i said the toxic narrative is being promoted by the production i've said that before the team they are the ones promoting the toxic narrative and like i said it's very much unfair on some of the house all of the housemates i understand it's a business showbiz business but they also need to consider the mental health of the lab rats because those housemates are lab rats just imagine how they treated mercy aka on stage just imagine how they, they muted the mics of those people shouting i mean that area they muted the volume of course you know you have a mic and then they muted it all we could hear was them chanting elebaye elebaye and that seemed as though everyone wanted her to win because that's the narrative they they pushed on us that was a narrative i know some of people like it's not true it's okay leave stay with your truth this is my own truth this is what i say i'm not saying that oh people don't want her to win but they made it seem as though the whole world wanted elebaye to win they were forcing that narrative on the viewers but that wasn't the case yeah okay let's move past that okay let me also say this let me say this they always have a twist to a story they have their narrative formed they force it on the viewers they have their predetermined winner already from the script they've written they have the script and then they will not push it to go accordingly they already know who they wanted to win when the show started they already knew that and they then pushed it and then the housemates hid into the whole stuff unknowingly and then that made the narrative a perfect story they had a perfect perfect a perfect script you'll be you'll be surprised to hear that oh um maybe majority of the time a labor was cool with the housemates only the only the party they had issues little little squabbles that's where they they pushed out don't be don't be surprised to, to hear that story as well let's move on to the other part um venita celebrates with a for those of you that have been tearing your pants, hitting your head on the wall, stop it. It's a game. Game don't end. Everyone is cool. You still want enmity, want toxicity. Stop it. They are cool. You've seen them hugging. They are cool. Shaggy takes a selfie with Elebaye's dad. Yeah, I know. I read the comment. We were like, oh, why Why did the father allow Shaggy to come, even come close to him and even take a selfie? Oh, what if he finally got her disqualified? Hey, what, what was the father thinking? Don't let the enemy close. I'm like, are you mad? Is your brain okay? Is everything okay in your head? Hey, wahala. This is a some gel moment. <laughs> I'm like, this will not kill us with sheep. Oh. If you know you're single, some gel is not for you run away if not they will give you a heart attack high blood pressure so mars is still getting gifts from fans they gifted him ha. but i say this um this so much fans eh then get plenty money i'm not gonna lie you money is not running dry i mean their well is not running dry so guys this is how messi ak arrived the prize giving venue presentation venue Me- Go front. Pass, pass.
Mess AK Cut Ninja 8. You know, Ninja 8 is one particular ninja that most of the housemates wanted want to know the person behind the face behind the Ninja 8. And you know, Ninja 8 has a very nice figure some of the house some of the guys were also crushing on her so this is messi's reaction when she heard ninja 8 was around let's watch this video Kid Wire is having a good time with his father. For those of you worried about Kid Wire and saying all them trashy things about him, he's living his best life. He is with his father, as you can see, on vacation. I don't know where the place is, but he's on vacation. The other time he was on the yacht. Let's see him having a good time. Please go and hustle. Because when you hustle and have, have what is working for you, you will not be looking for who to show hate. It's not that people way mind the pepper and then they show hate. People way things are not working for and the ones showing hate. If your life is good and you're happy with your life, you will be exuding positivity. No doubt and no peace. Then this is um Mess AK's message. You know, um she's very, very grateful, regardless of anything that all that had happened. She's a grateful soul. She took a, she took some time out to appreciate her fans, to tell them thank you for for all they did for her for the vote I, I think i have another video coming up on that so she left them this um beautiful write-up she thanked her family as well you know her family went all out for mercy for her she thanked her family so i'm going to read for you guys what she said she said a special thank you to my family mom my mom my big sister my cousins it is a thank you to mercenaries you rode with me from 2019 and still ride with me thank you i'm still in awe at the love and the support you you still show me to my friends and supporters she's forever grateful and all that guys see um this mercy i saw in this particular season was the mercy i saw initially on her season i loved mercy but when she did that all that she did to touch her and the whole gang up I'm like no now don't do that that was i just like what kind of a girl is this i love the fact that she came back to show her true self that was what she said in her interview she wanted them to know that this is the real mercy and i'm happy she did that i love her may god keep protecting her and blessing her and um, may her business keep um excelling guys this is it in this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about the production what do you think about your narrative what do you think about the housemates i understand that their show not their business the housemates were very much aware of what they were getting into i understand that just let me know your thoughts in the comment section and definitely i'll see you guys in another one Bye bye